Winter is over, spring is coming, and everyone from the Halftime Halloween Show wants to wish everyone an amazing St. Patrick's Day. Spring is coming. We're pumped. We're on the boardwalk, broadcasting on the beach with Halftime Halloween on AM 1240. WGBB. Hey, it's Halftime Halloween. We're live from the studio here in Babylon, and at 7 o'clock, tune in, AM 1240 WGBB. We're going to be talking about the Long Beach firefighters and the big meeting coming up on Tuesday night at City Council. And the Halftime Howie Show totally supports the Long Beach firefighters. And it's going to be a wild meeting Tuesday night on St. Patrick's Day. Are you pumped up? Yeah. 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 7 o'clock, AM 1240. WGBB. For the hottest show you've been waiting for all afternoon, it is broadcasting on the beach with your host, Halftime Howie. Thank you very much, Brian. It's Halftime Howie coming to you live from the studios here in Babylon on AM 1240 WGBB as we're bringing the crew in Babylon today. And I, I, I thought it was a great way to start the show tonight. Talk about what is going on in Long Beach. And the number one issue is the layoff of the four firefighters. And Andrew, you've been blogging. Andrew Case, uh, you went to the last uh, city council meeting Tuesday and the next one, which is going to be on St. Patrick's Day, and for all our friends out there, a very happy St. Patrick's Day. I think next Tuesday is going to be a very heated meeting as well, Andrew. What do you think? Yes, I definitely think it's going to be an interesting meeting, to say the least. I think uh, the public is still outraged. Uh, this story isn't going anywhere, and either are we. And um, the original article I wrote about uh, the last city council meeting for our blog, which was recently launched, uh, so far is almost up to a thousand page views. So people are paying attention, people are engaged, and I think people are just going to keep following the story. And there's a huge uh, question that must be answered at the next city council meeting, and that is, uh, folks, that uh, firefighter, a paid firefighter by the name of Michael Seaman, uh, just announced his retirement. He took a new job, and the question will be put to Jack Schneerman, the city manager, uh, will the fact that Michael Seaman left the firefighters, will one of the four firefighters uh, be reinstated? And Andrew, if he is not, if uh, Jack says uh, none of the four will be reinstated, I think you're going to have a very angry crowd uh, who will voice their displeasure very uh, heated uh, at Tuesday's meeting. Yes, I think um, we'll have another heated meeting, just like you said. And also, uh, we can start... You uh, uniting the community and come together to bring a movement to bring back the four firefighters. Uh, you started a movement at the last meeting, uh, Restore the Four. It's a hashtag. I think if people keep using it on social media, our Instagram account, Halftime Howie Radio Show, our Twitter, Halftime Howie, and on our blog, HalftimeHowieRadioShow.com, we can make a difference and have these four firefighters reinstated. Uh, and get their jobs back and doing the work they should be doing. Absolutely. And uh, before the meeting, Andrew, we're going to be speaking with uh, Joanna Matheson, who runs the Folk to Funk uh, Music Festival in Long Beach. I think it starts on uh, March 26th. And um, I know you're excited to meet Johanna because you have a contact with a, uh, a folk uh, music online magazine. So this is perfect. Yes, definitely. I write for the online music magazine called Heartstrings. Uh, my friend from high school, Lauren Jehoda, started it. Uh, she created this magazine all by herself. It focuses on Americana and folk music. We're throwing our first official concert next month in Centerport on April 17th, and I'm definitely excited to meet her and just spread uh, awareness about folk music and have uh, people learn more about the genre. It's not a genre that's, uh, that gains a lot of attention, but I think it should be a lot of fun. All right, uh, we have a lot of great segments uh, coming up in the show, and I'm going to speak to some of our staff members now to give a little 